Hello, Christy from Bush Puppies. Uh, so today we thought we'd show you how we create our slum gum, which is what we use to bait our boxes. Uh, it's very simple and we're basically using leftover bits from our hives, so it's not costing you very much. Um, we use a lot of the old comb and old scrapings from the wax um, once we've rendered it down, as well as any like old nectar or honey that isn't um, good enough for us to sell. We sometimes add that to the slum gum. So uh, it's very simple. We do ours on a very large scale. You can obviously scale it down and do it in a, in a tin or whatever. Don't use your pots at home. <laughs> it will never be the same again. So um, just use something old that's recyclable or what have you. Um, and we'll show you how we do ours. And I'm sure that you'll find other ways to do yours. Okay, let's get going. taken an old drum and uh, we've basically cut it in half and what we've done with the top half is we've made a fire in there we've put a couple of um, standards there just to hold the pot up and we've put everything into one uh, big pot here and we are basically boiling it down with a bit of water um, once we've got it uh, nice and smooth which it is now we are basically just uh, using this old kitchen sieve of mine and uh, we're straining off all the liquid um, and basically what you'll be left with is a nice uh, thick lump of wax and propolis and um, as you can see here there's a loads of bees around here they're absolutely loving the smell um, so once you've taken all the old little cappings and things like that off um, the little cells and whatnot we'll be left with a nice smooth waxy um, substance which we will use to bait our boxes right so we're just about ready to sift this off or to cool it as you can see it's um, got quite a nice uh, smooth texture to it now we've uh, taken out all of the cells which are all in this bucket here as you can see there's loads of bees humming around here so no, all looking good Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Ego, bring me more frogs. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> right, our slum gum is ready. <laughs> We're gonna start putting it in a in a containers. If we don't burn yourself. Oh la la. So uh, basically what we'll be left with here is um, on the top will be a bit of wax and underneath will be sort of black chunky slum gum. Uh, the last batch what I did is I actually mixed this with some canola oil in uh, our slum gum pan just to make it go that much further and that way it also makes it a lot more pliable because the wax goes really really hard so the canola allows it to kind of almost spread and melt a lot faster than the wax.
when I'm scooping it, I'm only really scooping from the top. Obviously, because the water is all at the bottom. Trying to just scoop the stuff off the top of this boiling, boiling stuff. The bees are coming to investigate. It's always a good sign. You can use any kind of container you want for this. Um, we used to just put it in one big container, but it made it a lot more difficult to to make use of it. Whereas in smaller containers like this, you can boil down one little one batch at a time. Right. So now you know how to make your own slum gum. For more helpful hints and ways to do beekeeping in a more cost-effective way, subscribe to our channel for more. Fun hints on beekeeping. We'll see you there. Cheers. Bye. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Eva, bring me more frogs. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs>